Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you for joining us at the Prison Outreach Program's uh, TV series uh, with the Shura TV. We thank those who have made this available. We're so pleased today to have with us Sister Charmaine Holland and our beloved brother Naeem Shah Sr. Uh, who represents Bible 2000. Uh, these are community members, alhamdulillah, who support the prison outreach program and who support those who are in the prisons. Our sister Charmaine Allah blessed her a few years ago to develop uh, a journal that she puts together during the month of Ramadan to make available to inmates throughout the state and across the country. And we want to be able to ask her what uh, inspired her uh, to do that as well as initially just give a little bit about herself to mm -hmm. introduce her to our community inshallah. Alhamdulillah. Salaamu alaykum everybody. My name is Sister Charmaine. Um, it started when I came to El Islam, which was in 2000. Yeah, two, two, yeah, yeah, 2000. And um, Allah has blessed me to come into El Islam and to be a service to help the community. And within that time, I have worked with so many emails and leaders in the community. And um, just being dedicated to do what Allah asks us to do, um, Allah has put it on my heart to be able to serve the community the best way I can and to be obedient to his call and so that's how the Ramadan journal came about um you know they always say uh, Ramadan comes in as a stranger and leaves as a friend mm. and uh one year you know it was a odd Ramadan and uh started like six months preparing for this Ramadan and it's like I just kind of just totally uh, stopped looking at TV I was reading more and I always question like back in the day during Prophet Muhammad time how long did it take them to prepare for Ramadan you know so I was going through this transition but this was the best Ramadan I ever had was um, I think it was 2011, and I worked real close with Ina Mameen. May Allah uh, bless him and grant him paradise. He's not here with us anymore. But um, I left I left California for a couple of years to go home and take care of family. And I came back, and Ina Mameen kept saying, Sister Charmaine, we need your help and support. And I said, okay, ma'am, I'm here for you. What you need? And so this particular Ramadan, it was like... Um, this particular Ramadan I experienced was I was there for 30 days doing iftar, even making breakfast for Sahur on the weekends for the community. I was just there just almost for 30 days straight. Mm -hmm. And that was my first time ever experiencing that last day of Ramadan where everybody was greeting everybody, saying goodbye. I sat down in the sala and just started crying mm -hmm. because I did not want Ramadan to go. And that moment, during that time, as the Ramadan left, Allah put on my heart to create this Ramadan journal. And that was in 2012. And ever since, every year, I dedicate myself to make a Ramadan journal for the believers just to have that intimate moment because that was experience, that Ramadan, that I have never, ever felt in my lifetime, you know. And I don't know, I can't speak for other people, but I would love if anybody else can experience that feeling of having that Ramadan come in as a friend and leave as a stranger, you know. So that's how I came about the Ramadan journal, you know. What kind of are the things that uh, elements that you used in putting this together? Um, I use a Quran pretty much. Um, I, um, when I came to El Islam, I actually um, followed W.D. Muhammad. So a lot of W.D. Muhammad leadership is what actually built me to be who I am today. Okay. His, his teaching and his philosophy and understanding life and understanding the deen was what could I connected with. And with that logic and understanding, um, it allowed me to kind of understand the importance of uh, Ramadan, understand the importance of what Allah is speaking in the Quran, and it just touched my heart so much, you know. And um, and for me, for me coming to El Islam was so different. For me coming to El Islam is like everything that was Allah said you should not do when you are a Muslim. Allah took it all away from me. So my 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 my, my slate was so easy and clean. Oh, I didn't have no distractions oh, to hold me back from oh, doing anything that I was not supposed to do. That's what made it even more beautiful, oh, you know. And so I maintained to hold that it kept adding more of Allah's essence and, and beauty into my life, which allowed me to be able to put this Ramadan journal together. And then being with y'all powerful men, you know, y'all great leaders. So. 
a lot surrounding me around with all your imams and your leaders. I had to learn. So I knew Allah had something bigger and better for me because of the people who he had me around. And so that's how this here came about. And this is so beautiful that our community gets a chance to hear from one of our sisters in the community doing the work because women in Islam have, have always, from the time of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, have been an integral part yes. of this faith and yes. of teaching this faith. And here you are, you know, 1,442 years after the Hijra, yes. a part of this tradition yes. of Muslim women loving this faith, yes. loving Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so much, wanting to make a difference in Allah, putting your heart that yes. you're doing something that not just touches the lives of those on the outside, yes. but it reaches those on the inside. And Amen. this is where I want to touch base with our, our, our beloved brother, uh -huh. uh, Brother Shah, who is a part of an organization, Dawa 2000, and he also took on uh, making sure that these could be made available in the prisons because Absolutely. you produced it, yes. but somebody has to be able to, you know, cover the cost yes. and to get it to where it can go. And brother, Naeem uh, Shah, you know, can, you can kind of just explain sure. how Dollar okay. 2000 got involved in uh, supporting this project, yes. as well as I know you have another project that uh, you've been working on uh, with the brothers inside, with the with the bean pies for the holidays, as well as with the journal. So can you articulate? I'm more than happy to. Uh, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, alhamdulillah, Rabbi al uh, This conversation is personal because I consider Charmaine my daughter. I've known her since she was maybe 12 years old. <laughs> and I've watched her grow up. I've watched her, her and my son, Umar, Shia, all of them, I've watched them grow in this al Islam. So her contribution to me is personal, but then it became personal for the believers because Allah tests us. Yeah, and Allah says, with every difficulty, there is relief. Mm -hmm. And that tells me Allah is telling us in the Quran, when a difficulty comes, He also sends a relief. Mm -hmm. It's like two arrows shot from the same bow. And the relief with the pandemic was this book mm -hmm. for the believers incarcerated. Because what happened during that period of pandemic, they stopped Juma. They would not allow any inmate to uh, meet with another inmate. In fact, the chapels almost didn't work well, unable to go in. Mm -hmm. But Allah's word got in. Yeah. Because my sister, my daughter, my friend, my child was able to find something that she could use to support Allah and his messenger. Mm -hmm. And that was his kid. Mm -hmm. And the thing that made this one special, we have what we call the Ramadan kid, which the Uma clinic helped produce. And that kid we were able to sell close to 2,000 okay. of those kids got into hands of Muslims, and male and female, and they did not spend one dime. Mashallah. Everything was paid for by the community. See what I mean? I mean. So my short talk here on this is that I am so humbled, I am so happy, I am so pleased, man, to see one of my children to grow up and to grow into this dean, mm -hmm. never leaving Allah, always holding firm to the rope. And that was 2000, I've been in the prison since 1970. Wow. I rolled out, man, I was 32 years old, man, and I rolled down the highway, man, saying, Allah, who act of all. And it's holding it up. And it's been brothers like you, brother Imam Hafiz, that I have so much love and respect for and I honor you because your labor is a labor of love. Mm -hmm. And this program makes it possible for Muslims, male and female, for inmates, male and female, to get a chance to learn more about El Islam. Mm -hmm. And let me say this, because if an inmate, male or female, is permitted to accept Allah in that situation, they were not arrested. They were rescued. <laughs> and we have been a part of that rescue mission Amen. with this book and the work that you're doing in Darwin Prison. Thank Amen. you. I'd like to also to just share a little bit about the Muslim Journal. <laughs> and I know you, 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 you've been making available to the inmates. Uh, Muslim you know. Journal, for us, for me, this represents 90 years, 9-0. 90 years of our direct involvement in the establishment of Islam in America. Muslim Journal is a tool for dollar and a voice for human salvation. We are not the new kids on the block. And we thank Allah for all of us and all of those who are striving to get Allah's word out there. But we're doing the same thing. And the thing that's important today about Muslim Journal is that we are living in a time 
of black lives matter. Right. But black lives got to also take care of black lives. Mm -hmm. And the thing that Muslim Journal helps us to realize is that the author, the first author of our paper was the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. Mm -hmm. And I use that term with affection, with reverence and love because of the work. He was not Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi he was sallallahu but he was a worker. Yes. And that work may produce thousands and thousands and thousands of black men and women who otherwise would have been a minister to society but found a way to stand up, to stand tall and not stand with a hall. Okay. And so we thank Allah. We thank Allah for this paper. Mm -hmm. This paper is a tool for dialogue, as I mentioned, and a voice for human salvation. Mm -hmm. We make it available to our brothers and sisters. We get a little weekly through our subscription program. And we ask you, if you're able to support that, we have more information on that, and I'll make that available when a little more time is available. But this is basically what we do with the paper. And Charmaine, I love you. Love you May Allah bless you, sweetheart. Amen. 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 I appreciate you, soldier. You are truly, truly a servant Amen. of the people. And this Amen. program, I just tell Allah that more eyes and more ears and more people listen to what's going on in the souls of these human beings. They're human beings just because they're locked up. That means they're not human beings. That's right. And we should never take a position of judgment. Only Allah judges. Mm -hmm. Only Allah can have the final call, for real. Right. It's not a newspaper, it's a call. It's by a human being. And probably it's by a, 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 a force that we know is able to make the final call. Mm -hmm. So I uh, thank you, Brother Imam. Thank you for your time, Brother Wali. This program has been fantastic. And I'm available for a presentation on the history of Muslim Journal, maybe at another time when there's more time available. Very good. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Sister Charmaine, yes, uh, alhamdulillah, uh, for what you've done in the past, and I know you're working already on 2021. Yes, and, and so what are some of the things that, you know, that you would like to see uh, the community uh, to be able to, you know, be available to, to assist you in continuing this uh, blessed work that Allah has put on your heart uh, to even expand upon uh, not just this project but any other projects that uh, you may be working on that the community can support you with inshallah. Well, you know, I'll, this is this is this is going on the ninth year, and um, my most struggle is the community just not supporting enough. And I would like for if if all the imams can help out and at least support towards the cause of at least getting a Ramadan journal into the masjids for the believers. You know, mm -hmm. if they can just get a, just a, a, a big a, a big quantity of it and just give it out to the Ram to the community. You know, um, I've been trying to do that for past eight years and I've been trying to do a little package here where you give it away to get donations to help with their sadaqa because you know I know it costs the masjid money to keep the doors open to keep the lights on and help to bring that donation in for the sadaqa you know so I mean anything I can do to help for all of us to be able to benefit from this Ramadan journal I am there you know you can always go to my website is ramadanjournal.com you know you can help and contribute you know any input I've been asking all the emails to help out for the article in there because everybody has a different story for Ramadan and you never know how your story can touch somebody else to even do better during Ramadan so for the past eight years I've been asking email I will say my email from Fahim email for Oakland Fahim Shuey he always Love to put an article right here, so I, I give I give props to him. I thank I'm him for all his support, and like I said, all the emails who've been helping out, all my brothers who've been helping out, my sister okay. Rashida, she's been my role doll. She's been yeah. helping me from the yeah. day one, trying to push this book, and so I am truly grateful and honored for Allah to even allow me to be here to have this opportunity to speak. Who would thought after eight years, just keep pushing oh that God. this opportunity will take place? Oh so I am truly grateful. And um, I'm honored to have, I, I'm so honored and I'm thankful and I'm ready for whatever Allah has for me for the next year and the next 20 years, Allah. you know, from now on. Can I make a commitment? Yes, sir. The Dollar 2000 would like to publicly contribute $500 uh -huh. for the next run. Thank you. Thank on you. The Ramadan kids. Uh -huh. And that check will be available today. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And you take me home. Yes, you never let me go inside when I write that check. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's a dollar two thousand. Thank you. Not only is it important, if I may add, Brother Imam, is that okay if I yes, add? Not only is it important, but this is our duty. Our duty, the duty of the civilized is to teach the uncivilized. Yes, right. And if the civilized person fail to do their duty, they suffer a grievous chastisement. Yes. And the honorable Elijah Muhammad taught us that. And what more grievous chastisement can there be 
than to be chastised by your own children. Okay. But then not to respect you, not to love you, because you ain't done nothing for them. Mm -hmm. Instead of tra training to be a decent person, we train them just to just to chill and don't do anything. So this journal is a commitment, man, to Islam. And just to add, Sister Charmaine, yes, I think the articles from others are very important. I think that's very good mm -hmm. for people to know about that. But this book here is a book that teaches us the etiquette of Ramadan. Not necessarily a critique of another speaker, mm -hmm. but the etiquette of Ramadan. What time should I get up? What time should I have Zuhur? Where should I pray? Yes. What direction should I pray in? This was so important yes, because Muslims in the penitentiary, most of them are first timers. Okay, that's right. Not everybody has been in the hall in their life. Some cats just got in. Mm -hmm. So they don't know nothing about Ramadan. This was a life saver. So what we need to do, not only as you know, but as brothers and sisters, man, everybody need to come with a hundred dollars. What a hundred dollars, man? They buy a pack of cigarettes cost a hundred dollars now. <laughs> <laughs> My God. I don't even smoke. I ain't smoking two minutes since I was 13. That was 1920. So what about my point is, you see I'm extreme. Yes. But my point is, you got to support the yes. community. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you. Thank, thank, you. Thank, thank, you. Thank, thank, thank the community for joining us and okay. hearing and learning about our, our sister and the great work that she is doing and we want her to continue to be able to to do this and as she has explained it's not only for those in the jails and the prisons but it also has a value to the communities at large okay. so inshallah uh, in supporting her and supporting this work we want to inshallah keep uh, both Dawa 2000 as well as our sister Charmaine and, and others in the community that support the prison outreach that support the men and women and the youth uh, that are in these facilities, uh, inshallah, continue to make dua for them, and inshallah, continue to support the prison outreach program in the Shura Council. Uh, thank you again. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wow.